Yo, what's up you guys? MCI is here, back at it with another Dust2 How to Smoke Off, and this time, me to be. Um, there is maybe two smokes to throw uh, for me to be. Um, at least one, and it's the most important smoke, and that's the CT smoke. Um, and of course, there are a couple of smokes you can throw from me to be itself to give your mate some cover, your teammates some, from some cover um, who rush tunnels. Um, but yeah, let's hop in right to the first smoke. All right, so the first smoke is a CT smoke. Um, it's this smoke right here. It's the most important smoke if you're gonna go mid to B, because otherwise you have to clear two angles or look at two angles every time. Um, and if you smoke it off, you only have to worry about one angle, and that's of course, or two angles, and it's of course, uh, or three if you're gonna do it actually, right? Uh, doors, boxes, and window. Uh, sometimes it will stand on the construction here as well. Um, so actually, four. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, those are the three angles you can throw. Uh, you can you have to look at. Um, all right, so you're gonna stand right in, in this corner. You're gonna pick up. You see this little window right here. You're gonna aim at the bottom left. You're gonna throw. This smoke will land exactly in the middle of CT, and as you can see, it's completely smoked off. The only thing you need to worry about is sometimes they will jump up right here, and you, they can see you. Um, but you will hear it right away. So if you go close towards the smoke, so right here, they will not see you. And that you can see him. Because he's looking forward towards the door. Because that's the only thing he can see. Um, so he will aim right there. And if you walk close by the smoke, you will hear him jump. You can shoot him or spam it. And then just walk up. Um, so again, you can even um, throw with a couple of flashes. I'm going to explain right now as well. Actually, normally it's for another video, but for the sake of it, I'm, I'm going to explain it. So, you're going to throw the smoke. You're going to throw your flash. There you go. You can check that corner. Walk up towards the smoke. Check window. There you go. What I normally do is I wait here. So, my teammates will go on. I will wait here for sound. So, jump sound and I can spam it. Or even give them the heads up. Like, careful, CT. And when the smoke disappears, they 9 out of 10 times forget to check this corner. And just walk right by me uh right past me and then I, I can't click them off so that's the smoke uh the most important smoke to throw from ct um let's hop into the second one all right so the smoke um so the next second smoke is not actually smoke but more of a flash um i've been thinking about it but it's not actually there are not a lot of smokes you can throw from here um were very useful the only thing i think is useful is the pop flash you can throw um for your teammates and yourself um and that is this pop flash right here. I explained it to my stream a lot of times. This pop flash will go over over the over the wall, and um, everyone who is watching towards window or even door will get be fully will be fully blinded. Um, even when you're standing here holding this angle, or even when you're holding this angle. Um, so if you time it right, and your teammate will flash in, and they will be blind, and you and your teammates can rush in together. So again, this one is one you have to practice a lot. Um, you can throw it wrong a lot of times And as you can see it will land over the wall um, It's a pop flash. You cannot avoid it whatsoever if you're watching that angles uh, This one is also very useful if you are going to uh, retake the site um, You're gonna walk up throw the flash You will flash you can check every corner. You, you don't have to worry about anything uh, except if they're standing here and watching this angle, they will not be blinded. But otherwise, every angle will be blinded. So if they're standing here, they will be blind. If they're standing here, they will be blind. Um, even when they're watching this angle right here, they will be blind. Or here, um, even car will be blind. It's a very, very overpowered pop flash. Um, you can uh, use for pushing aside and retake aside. Um, Alright, so that's... Pretty much it for me to be actually. Um, there's only one smoke you need to throw, and of course the pop flash. Um, I'm gonna explain the pop flash here real quick as well. Uh, sorry, I forgot about that in the first segment, in the first clip. But what you need to do is you see this line right here, this white line. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit that white line where it meets the wall. You're gonna aim crouch wise. You're gonna stand up and throw the flash. It's a pop flash. As you can see, if you stand here, you'll be blind. If you stand here, you will be blind. Even when you're standing here, you'll be blind. Um, and also when you're standing here to the blind the only thing is they will see it coming because they can see the the, the pop flash or the flash go over so they have time to fall back and re-peek but you have to remember they have to re-peek so 
at that at that same time you already be here um, to take them out if they are peeking back um, so yeah that's the pop flash for me to be uh, right there all right guys that's it for this video uh, thank you so much for watching and of course you know what to do leave a thumbs up if you like this series leave a thumbs down if you don't like it but also leave a comment below why you don't like the series or what else you want to see for Counter-Strike Double Offensive my name is MCIs thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this series um, and I will see you guys all in the next video